Hello everyone, and welcome back to Survivor Roleplay here, and we have been a bit busy. For us, we've got a bunch of timber here, which we'll explain in a sec. Part of this is coming from this area here. We're going to get rid of all these trees here. We've got a few more trees left, so we should be having another load in the half, so that's why we've got two traders. I've got these two trays from doing some timber work off camera and that. So we was able to get a second tray there as well as we sold the dog fork and got the big back hands there so But the main bulk of how much timber oof I mean did that damage our tractor let's have a look here. Can't see no cracks now. It's not hitting the beacons thankfully, so but yeah that it's been a bit precarious, but... <laughs> but yeah, so most of this timber has come from some contract work we're doing for the local community. Um, apparently the council wants some trees demolished, so we said we'll do it free of charge. And we'll dispose of it ourselves in whatever way we wish to see fit. And uh, for the local authority that didn't seem an issue. All the only stipulations is only... Uh, ain't a set quota of trees down, it's just makes you get carried away, so they've allotted a little plug segment for us, so I'm going to take this to Derek at the sawmill, and I'm going to get this converted into planks, and then hopefully by the end of the year now, or even a couple of months, so we can go and sell these set planks. But yeah, this is going to be a huge load of timber. Definitely overstacked, but because it's a long train, it doesn't seem to tip over. Also, we've got some eggs we need to sell, we need to do that now to get the free ish ground we're going to get. And we've got a buckload of silage to sell as well, so. How much silage have we got? So we have a little look. And a little PDA here on the phone. Ooh, we're absolutely full. 360. 360,000 and 4,000 equals a brass theft. Not too bad, so we're going to deal with that in a sec here. But first of all, I want to deal with this timber situation. Also, what we're doing is just simple farm work. We plowed the fields of that had the core in it and then simply picked all the stone. So, yep, we'll go and grab those stones. So, let's go see. How much timber the the trees will get here? So, so currently nothing. That's fifty six thousand liters. And then how much we'll get for this bit here? Well, not too bad. Eighty seven thousand liters in total. So. How would that do for Derek? That's going to keep Derek going for a fair amount of time, actually. More or less for the next 11 to 12 months, so that's good. But of course, we've still got a bit more timber left to do, so. There we go, do that. So now let's go into our pickup and let's go and sell some eggs. So right then we've got the pickup and we've got some weird local driving our tractor. I'm starting to regret my decisions on that because it's literally one road. All you have to do is follow one road and struggling to stay on it so yeah but yeah that's got our second load of stones we had our first load in the crusher we crushed that got about 9,000 years ish of lime already in there so and actually what we could do actually is if we go ahead and do this sack Increase the time there a little bit, and yeah, so quick sell these eggs here at Aunt Emma's. Should get about 30 grand or so from this, and we'll see how much 
what Lime's going for at the moment. Lime, where are you two? So yeah, 30,500. Best place to still sell is at the Lime Crusher. But for that, obviously we're going to have to lose some of the profit margins, but that, to be honest with that, I'm fine with, so... Now let's hop into the tractor. And we'll see how much we can get from this. So I think the Sun Crusher is a 2 to 2.5 ratio, so... Yeah, what's that? going to be about 2... About 4,000 ish the years we're going to get from here, so. And there we go, that's done, so. We're going to turn you off and see how much money we can get from the lime here. And it's not going to be a big deal of money, but. Yeah, 5,000 ish, 300 liter, 5,300 for that, so that's what I'm not too worried about. Just a little bit of income, pays the bills and that. Pays for our gas, electric, and all that. And we've got our first pallet of planks. Of many to come. I was thinking if we can get enough money, perhaps we can try to own our own carpentry business so that we can sell and keep all the profits from it, but how much is carpentry business? So we go to our little tab here. So down here Carpentry, have I got you? Yes we have. So sixty grand we need, so actually not too bad of a space. So potentially we could have it, actually I would like to have it near the farm, but then ideally actually we wouldn't have it somewhere here, back then. It's not going to be too much of a commute for the locals. Yes, they got their cars and all that, but, but yeah, so I think it's something like here perhaps. Or even near, sort of like on the back of the farm with the bee shop area. Because then again, the farm with the bee, he can provide security for it as well. Not that I don't trust the locals, I don't trust the residents and that, but you just never know. Especially when we're growing, we're expanding. I mean, seriously, we've got our soybeans on the way. So if we have a look at our crop here, we've got our canola as well. That's going to be ready soon. I think both of these are going to be ready tomorrow. Canola's going to be ready tomorrow. Soybeans, maybe July. But yeah, this was the area here we've been designated. It's been marked off with someone doing a bit of mowing or whatever. But, anywho, so we get our little drone out here. This is all the trees that we cut down. So we've got this little bit here we're allowed to collect. So as far as we're allowed to do this, we're allowed to do these trees. And I think the plan is not sure if it's going to be a BGA or a quarry area because they discovered some stone here. So yeah, I'm not too sure what our plan is. If they're going to do a quarry, will that interfere with Derek's business? Obviously with trucks going back and forth. That's just like noise pollution, not even considering the environmental pollution of, you know, just dust and all that. Will it tamper with the production of the planks? Like the quality of the planks, if that's the case, then when we have a carpentry business, that's going to have a potential effect on us. We've had some not so much appreciative products in that, and yeah. Just too much to worry about, basically. <laughs> too much of a worry. So, actually, how much are planks going for at the moment? They're going for about 2,500 ish. So in theory we'll need, what, another 10 or so? And um, what's the rate of production here? So 10,000 litres of planks, so 9,000 litres we need now. That's going to be ready for next month, actually. That is, yeah. 
Oh, eight, 9,000 inches a year, so yeah, that's going to be ready next month, so... And again, that's not including the eggs now, because... But then again, I do want to put our own greenhouses down. But for that, we're going to need a stone grinder in that, so... And also, it's the grass ready to mow. I think it is. Obviously, we'll do seed in, first of all, but yeah, so... Oh, so much to do. So much to do with only one little tractor. Please tell me there's something in the used market. There's a beater. <laughs> there is a beater, but yeah. I'm not going to do any slurry spreading. You know what? How much is a stump grinder? Uh, do, 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 where are we tool? Forestry equipment. I'm going to say, let's have this, so that's just going to devour the trees, so it's going to be pretty expensive, but I think in the long run that's going to be worth it in a certain way, but anywho, so yeah, we'll get that back to the farm and then, yeah, we'll convene, we'll run with you at the farm. And I'm sure I'll have something wrapped up together by then. So he says. Actually, you know what? I forgot about something. We got our signage to sell. I completely forgot about the signage there for the minute. But yeah, so I tested this and it seems to do really well. So. <laughs> I am looking forward to that. And that's why you can silage and that we can use this potentially to make some TMR for the cows if we do have cows at some point, but I think for now. In terms of animal wise, I'm rather about priority sheep in that. Oh and a bit of a horsepower stroll here. See the wheels are spinning. We're just about getting some traction now as we get up to speed, but I'm not sure how much we're going to get here, so let's do the first load and then we're going to have to do another five, about another eight trips, so I'll sort of split between Schultz's container dealership area. I'm not sure if it's a dealership, I think it's like Schultz is just like a wholesaler where he sells everything, you give him everything, you'll take it, ship it off. Whether or not you get a better price compared to the farm shop here is a different question, but... So we'll go and sell our first load. We also want another tractor. And our sell this, and again, an upgrade, or... How much is our tractor worth roughly? About 20 grand. Perhaps like 25, 30 grand once we've painted it, repaired it and all that, but... Let's see how much we get from our first load. And the number is... 15,000, so... For another 8 of those, we're going to have potentially 126 grand. And ideally, I would like to have something in the used market popping up, but I don't see that happening. So, current horsepower is 175, so something around the 200 ish mark. Where is it be a John Deere or a little Massey? Go with that 70 grand for 210 horsepower. Go with the fence. There is a few options. Oh, look at that. 50 grand for 230 horsepower. Three point linkage at the back. Uh, engine wise, 360 horsepower for 60 grand. 
That ain't too bad. What about a large tractor? Is there anything there? Hopefully someday we have like a big enough farm where we have something like the fence and that. But yeah. I was thinking 80 grand for 300 horsepower ish. Then we've got two of the, yeah, quarter of a mil. I think, you know what? I was thinking extra fuel tank. Do we need that? Yeah, why not? Three point linkage at the back. Lights, of course, we need GPS and that. Let's go with the B engine. And all black. Well, nah, let's, let's keep it. Actually, engine wise, we could keep that 300. We don't need. I don't even GPS, we can take that off. We will need a three point linkage, that's for sure. So, that's going to be 94 grand all said and done. Yeah, why not? I suppose it's more of an older solid tractor, so it matches like the kind of vibes we're going for at the moment. Yes, I know we could go with carpentry, and I do know with a certain, that certain carpentry we're looking at, we could potentially make a lot more money, a lot more quickly compared to your basic carpentry business. But because I heard that certain carpentry business, a where they hire a lot of workers or they're super efficient at what they're doing, but I heard they turn out a lot of wood chip pellets. Because yeah. we can use this devour, get some wood chips. Actually, I want to test something here. So, if we say. Oh boy. I forgot an idea. Unfortunately, that requires a brand new silo. <laughs> Bear with me, because I'm thinking let's get a bunch of wood chips and store it. But again, again how much is going to cost? 11 grand for that. Oh, there is an underground silo. Not sure. I think even those thirty grand. Not not too bad. Well, fifty grand. Do we want? Do we want the whole liquid though? I think. I don't think we do. I don't think so. I think fifty grand compared to thirty grand. How does? Yeah, that looks more industrial. Don't get me wrong, this is a very nice silo. Don't think it's going to be for us, so I'm thinking. Go with these. Well, perhaps I'll go with the wooden vibe at the farming act. Almost 5 million years, so. If I go and. Stunt the wood chips here for now. I'll pick those up very shortly. I think we're, we're on the money maker here. I really think we are. <laughs> That's me, I'm just laughing because it's so excited to now we can make a lot of money now. But anywho, we'll keep with the task at hand here. And we'll go and sell all the sides here. And then we'll start doing some seeding and that. Figure out which crop to do for the next rotation. We've done corn, so we can do potentially corn and corn. But I know in re real life and that, I know some people do like corn soybeans, especially in like certain parts of the states where it's all Midwestern, of course we're in no man's land, which is more Euro European vibe, but yeah. So much to do. But yeah, so let's, yeah, let's get cracking on here, get all this sold, and I'll see you folks in a short moment. <laughs>
down with her holding the, the signage and I think we got something at one point was like 150-ish grand then we sold some thanks got about 7,700 for that so that left us with a hefty chunk of change and we spent quite a bit of it we left with 30 grand that's going to be enough for greenhouses and that for the farm and that Things like the greenhouse this season, we'll do that in the next episodes, but let's go and head back to the farm here and let's just see what, of what we've got in board. Perhaps we'll sell in the mirrors. And yeah, so here we are at the farm and we've gone in and been buying some new stuff. So, first of all, let's have a look at. Oh, okay, that did not go well. Not sure why. Ah, that's why that came off. <laughs> Thought I was struck down, but no, it wasn't. So, yep, it's got our mirrors there. At the end of it, we've gone and did get the John Deere. We got to the 1128 Chip Turin. This baby produces 360 horsepower. So, let's go and get all this unstrapped. And I think that's all the straps do. There we go. And also we've gone and bought a brand new trailer, so... Now I need to figure out how to put the legs down on this. There we go. So John Deere switched off. And just look at this baby here. Obviously, I want to have the tracks on this. I'm smashing our mowers. Well, yeah, I did want to have tracks on this, but unfortunately, we couldn't have it on now because it was off in on the trailer. But yeah, we've got a nice some set of jewels here. And if we go into here, there are some different options that we could do. Well, this is what we've gone with. This is our wheels. But yeah, also we've got transport towers. Towers so we can transport this. And this is what... Ooh. There we go. This is what we bought. We bought the... Tracks, but we could also have some big old chonky rice wheels. Twin wheel, standard. And though it's be the transport tires. So we may put the tracks on at some point. Just to make sure we've got to have the right jack. So I don't think that jack there will support this, I don't think. So that's gonna be a bit of an interesting challenge. But you have to see that baby purring. This have horn. No horn, so of course this is a swivel axle, so this ain't perhaps my most favourite of tractors, but you want something with a chunky amount of horsepower and this is what the budget allows. So they get lucky with the second hand market. Go and drag. And yeah, next episode we will go and start drilling. In terms of what crop, I'm not sure yet, but yeah, we'll leave that there. Let's look at what we do have here. So we've got a brand new 5 milliliter silo. We've still got the wheat in this one. We may still keep this silo, not too sure. We had to take obviously some of the grass fields. And same with this here, I made a decision of sacrifice like half of this little grass area here to have a brand new shed. And does this have lights? Yes it does. Got some little LED lights here at the top, so this is where we saw like our pretty sort this tractor here because our little wooden shed is getting a bit cramped. And to be honest this sort of shows age, it's a bit worn torn. 
and all this is is just a more of a modern one. It's just made of metal, so it's gonna last. So you'll see how this fits in here. See, this fits in here just fine. And yep, yeah, enough space for a tractor or even the combo can go here potentially. So yeah, where's the 31 grand we got left over? Again, I was thinking about where we could put things like Perhaps like trim this back here a bit, put some greenhouses in. So we go to productions, generators. Actually, we could put some. Actually, we'll also go put some turbines in, I think, because we can redo with being a bit self sufficient. Or try to get us like a little solar panel in. You know what, let's put let's put some of this in here, so we'll put you there. And you there. So we get a bit of extra passive income and we're generating electricity. But greenhouses, so we got twelve grand left over. So I'm thinking Oh, better be set C where exactly everything's going to go. So, productions, greenhouses. There we go, that's what I want to see. I just want to see where things are going to sp spool out, so... Potentially... We can do like, say, here. And we can say like, yes, say about here. And we go, one. Oh, no, can't go that because obviously you need space for the water. Two. Uh, I want the third one, but again, it's where to put it too. Because here, that's where it all starts to slope up in that. How will it look here? Actually, move. Actually, not too bad. Let's see if we just try and move this back a little bit. You know what? I'm going to go with that. We'll do some landscaping here and there to tie this up, but... <laughs> so let's go and soften the terrain a bit. Oh no, oh, that's a disaster. <coughs> Let's say we want to level the terrain and want it from here. So yeah, just level all this off here. Oh no, too much. So yeah, level off there. Nope. Why is it done that? And now we'll go, yeah, let's quickly sort this out, so, yeah. I'll sort this out and see you folks in a second here. So, yeah, got that sort of fixed in that, fixed or mess. Obviously, what I'm going to have to do now is wait for the grass to obviously grow again. Well, no, it's actually ready to harvest, so once it's mowed, we can look at getting rid of some of these stumps, especially with our new little devourer thing. We'll get some of this replanted. Actually, you know what? Yeah, there's, yeah, there's a bit of a big chunk. Yeah, we will have to replant this so I still won't keep the grass field. So, yeah. A lot to do in the next episode. So, yeah, that's where we're going to end it today on that little disaster there. See you in the next episode. Seeding. And then we'll go to June. Harvest our canola. And then go from there. But I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment below. If you want to share with them, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, if I choose to do, 
hope you have a day. But for now, just be far more extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.